hi guys so today we are going to be doing this dark vampy purpley kind of look that I've done today at first I was trying to go for an everyday kind of thing and it just took on a bloody mind of its own it just never happened so if you want to see how I achieve this look just keep watching so let's get on with this tutorial 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 so I'm gonna be using my BH cosmetics Missy Lynn palette and I'm literally just gonna wing it and just see what happens I've already moisturized my face what I do need to do is prime my eyelids Too Faced shadow insurance this is just the sample one but I don't know why I bought the full size before finishing using my sample size okay I'm not too sure if this palette is still available on the BH Cosmetics website. I'm sure it is. They're coming out with new Carly Bible palettes soon. I think it's going to be available first week of April. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using this colour. Now the thing is, I've, I've got this palette just so I can support Missy Lynn. It wasn't really like amazing or anything like that. I literally just got it just so I can support. And it's an okay palette, don't get me wrong. But these shadows you can literally find anywhere so even if you aren't able to get your hands on this palette i know they brought it out a long time ago and they said oh it's limited edition but we all know how these companies work they say it's limited edition and then two minutes later it's back again so i've just blended that out and i've just made a big coat of curl on my forehead lovely oh and i'm using my peach and pearl crease brush and blending brush Now I'm going to be using um, this one here to deepen up the crease. So that goes literally right into the crease. And yes, I'm just using some natural lighting. I'm not using no ring light. I don't have a fancy camera. I literally just have my laptop <laughs> and the light from outside. I'm blend those out now. But I'm going to try and keep it in the crease and try not to go too far up there. I'm gonna use a little bit of this purple here. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Okay, this purple isn't what I expected it to be. There's a ton of fallout, like you can see it all here. Okay, so I'm gonna give up on the Missy Lynn palette for now. I've gotten the basic colors down, I guess, and I think I'm going to use, let's see if it works first, then I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm using an in, my Inglot palette. The colour payoff is so much better. The colour that I'm using is 494. It looks like this. The camera is not doing it any justice, but you can see that it has gold flecks in it. And the good thing is that this one doesn't seem to be like an overspray. I've used it quite a few times before and throughout it has gold flecks in it. I'm gonna be doing a video about palettes that I've put together myself. You know, the shadows that I've chosen for myself and put together in palettes and whatnot. And now I'm gonna move on to brows. So I'm just gonna use this Brow Artiste by L'Oreal Paris. Then I'm gonna start penciling them in. See, my brows are always like their cousins, not sisters, if that makes some sense. They never match. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in taupe. I tend to use taupe just so I can lighten the harshness of the black because it's just too black. Nice! Okay, now I'm going to do my foundation and the rest of my makeup off camera. And I'm gonna try and do something with this goddamn hair. I've literally just washed it yesterday. And whenever I freshly wash my hair, it just never wants to wet me afterwards. So, ah, well, what can you do? Hey guys, so this is the final look. Yeah, this is the final look. I was going for something every day, whatever, and that just didn't happen. It turned into a very dark, vampy, purpley kind of color, kind of look, I should say. And I actually quite like it really do. Now I've kind of ombre my lips. I use a really dark purple and put a really light nude and just ombre it in the center a little bit. I really like it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.